Imagine a future where you could travel from Pittsburgh to New York in less than 30 minutes. Until now, long distance travel options are time consuming, expensive, or both, making it impossible for many to visit friends and family living in other cities. Hyperloop technology aims to change all that. With semi-vacuum tubes and magnetic suspension supporting the pod, Hyperloop transportation is nearly frictionless, making it the first mode of ground transportation that could travel at the speed of sound. The CMU Hyperloop team started in 2015 and after a year and a half, that vision became a reality and we managed to design and build a Hyperloop prototype that came in the top 10 in the final competition at SpaceX headquarters. It's been a lot of hard work. We end up working all through the night and that's something that I did feel that's challenging initially, but now I really enjoy that. And last minute fixes. But it's been worth it. It's one of the best ways to gain uh, hands-on engineering experience and to work in a diverse team at Carnegie Mellon. It's a great challenge to work on something that could be real and, and it's great to be there at the beginning. I joined Hyperloop because I was really excited about the cross-functional nature of the team. Being in business school, I spend most of my time working with MBAs, but through Hyperloop, I've gotten to meet amazing people through the engineering school, computer science, drama, um, our Integrated Innovation Institute, and it's just given me such an appreciation for how wicked smart everyone is on the team. I grew up wanting to tell the stories of people who had changed the world. And when I came to CMU, I started realizing that I didn't have to limit myself to telling the stories of people who had changed the world. I had an opportunity to ch tell the stories of people who were going to change the world. You know, I, I wanted to look back and say, uh, it was that ride that I went on um, at Carnegie Mellon. Um, that was the first time I really experienced it and really felt the impact of what this means to me. As you can see, there are an endless number of reasons why our team is so driven by the project. From last year's crowdfunding campaign, we were able to build a test rig and working prototype that eventually led us to a final design. This step was critical for us to validate some of our most crucial assumptions. This year, the CMU Hyperloop team vision lives on with renewed energy. We're already hard at work designing new subsystems for levitation, braking, and lateral control so that we're lighter and faster than ever before. Last November, we submitted our initial design proposals to SpaceX and have been accepted to the next round of the competition. Our funding goal is ultimately to match last year's efforts, which was $140,000. But we need your help to reach the first 10,000, which will go to testing and validation. The second competition is entirely new. We have a new team and building on lessons from the first competition, we're designing and eventually building an entirely new pod. Passion to realize our vision has made it possible to pull 36 hour all nighters and juggle our already demanding course load. But it's support from people like you that make testing and eventually building the pod a reality. So from everyone here at Carnegie Mellon Hyperloop, Thank you!